And welcome back to part two of the Dragon Ball Z What If. What if Goku had gone Super Saiyan 4 against the mighty Lord Frieza? Now, with this one in part one, I expressed that there had to be a lot of creative liberties taken for this to even happen. We've addressed those in the part one, so you can check out part one. It's in the playlist. Uh, but we're going on to part two. Starting off with part two, we are going past the seven-year time skip. So... Now, I believe there have been martial arts tournaments prior to this, but they haven't really done anything. Mr. Saiyan's still the world martial arts champion, but he's not nowhere near as big as the hero who saved the world from Cell, obviously. Uh, Goku, meanwhile, has easily achieved Super Saiyan 2. I do think Gohan has achieved Super Saiyan 2 with con consistent training from his dad. Go uh, Goten's a lot stronger than Trunks. Trunks is still pretty strong. Vegeta has hit Super Saiyan 2 as well, and he's consistently trying to pit himself against Goku, but Goku is, at this point completely outshone him and it still is has infuriated him uh piccolo occasionally stops by but i think he still spends most of his time on the lookout though i think gohan does go and visit him uh so really that's that's where we would be at uh obviously 18 hooks up with six uh with uh krillin 17's off to 17 and 16 are rangering the shit out of that park and we cut over to the the next step in the in the uh in the phase uh, and, I mean, Gohan goes to school, the whole thing with Videl takes place, I'm sure he becomes a great Saiyan man in this case. Nothing really goes out of order, or uh, out of the ordinary, uh, really until we get to the tournament. And again, most of that goes about the same, uh, though the, one big difference would be, Goten, I think, wins the junior division. Vegeta just kind of holds that against Goku even more. Um, you would have... <clears throat> Videl actually would have uh, would have met Goku, trained with Goku, and uh, maybe actually be a little stronger because she's training not just with Gohan but with Goku as well. So I think she would act. You might act like I don't, we don't know how strong Videl actually. We know she's stronger than her dad. If we hypothetically say she's around fifty in the canon, maybe with some training with Goku, she's actually hit like a hundred. So she actually has a legitimately solid power up and can even produce energy blast now. Nothing serious, but she can do that. Um, uh, so, yeah, that fight with Spopovich is a little bit more knocked out, uh, drawn out, and Spopovich actually still suffers, uh, actually gets hurt a bit, nearly actually gets knocked out, but Spopovich does stop, end up beating her up, and Goku has to stop his son. So, then cut over to Gohan and Kabito, that goes the same, including his energy getting stolen. He's stronger in this version, though, than he is in the canon. So, uh, I would say that his full power... Uh, Super Saiyan 2 at his full power right now would awaken Majin Buu immediately. I'd say that. Uh, and then Buu would actually proceed to eat Yakon, Pui, and maybe even Deborah, which raises his energy up immediately. So, they start, they sense him and say, We're too late! Buu has been awakened! It's like, uh, And they sense Buu, and Buu's power is like, Ugh! And the Vegeta's like, Vegeta's like, I got it. It's like, I'll take on this blob. And he beats on Boo for a little while and nothing happens. Goku, Gohan, and him all both triple team him. Boo's just absorbing all their hits. Finally, uh, finally, Boo actually ends up eating Gohan. And they're just like, Gohan! And Gohan! Yummy, yummy, Boo! <laughs> so you get Boo, who gets a massive power increase from that. And Go uh, Goku's just like, no! And then he passed powers up. Now, Gohan's never died, so they still can, still can use the Dragon Balls to bring him back. And then powers up the Super Saiyan 4, which immediately shocks the hell out of everyone besides... Every, basically, uh, Kibito, uh, Shin, and the uh, and Bobbity, and even Boo's like, Boo's like, huh? What, what's this? Ah! And he just rages the Super Saiyan 4, just boom, and then he just comes in, just boom, and then he just punches Boo's head straight off. But luckily, Boo's body allows him to survive that. But boom! <laughs> he just starts beating the merciless shit out of Majin Boo. Just <laughs> It's like, ah, I did this. And even Supreme Kai is looking at Bob, and they're kind of just standing almost next to you, like, I have no idea. <laughs> then he sees Bob, and he just, <laughs> just kills Bobby, I imagine. But by the way, it's like, oh wait, nope! <laughs> and then just kills Bobby. Meanwhile, uh, Goku says, this is over! And then just, uh, it's like, I'm gonna kill you! Throws him straight up towards the sun base, like, Aah! then Goku does that double Kamehameha fish you see in GT where he just charges two beams in one end, combines them, 
I always, there's something so simplistic about that, but so badass at the same time. It's like, just double the blast, double the power, and then just, boom, and then just ultimately just incinerate, just done, boot gone, boot dead. Yeah, Boo ain't getting back up. As like, uh, and then they use the Dragon Balls, which Gohan and everyone that was basically killed uh, by these guys back. Uh, 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 so, and Gohan comes back and is like, whoa. It's like, yeah, it's like, don't worry, son. It's all over. And, and God, Supreme Kai is like shocked by what he just witnessed here. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like, well, you know, is there, if there's, we, I don't know how I can think you. Well, actually, could you teach me that weird moving thing you did, that instantaneous thing? It's like, oh, you mean this? So yeah, as, as a thanks, he would teach Go um uh, uh Goku the instantaneous uh move. It, it's not instant transmission. It's actually a, the, their Kai version that's even better. So he does teach him that. So that's the end of the Boo Saga. Vegeta still tries to outmatch Goku and all that stuff, and he's strong. Now, base wise, I think Vegeta would train strong enough to be stronger than Goku in his base. So until Super Saiyan four, Go Vegeta could actually handle Goku in a fight. Uh, but Goku's still ultimately the better fighter, so forth and so on. So, cut to Super, where Goku is training on King Kai's planet. Beerus wakes up, goes to visit him, and tells him, uh, and what about that Saiyan that you're hiding back there? Does he know anything? He's like, oh, hi! And then everything goes about that way, or same as that. Goes to Super Saiyan 1 and 2, does nothing. But going to Super Saiyan 4, while obviously he'll still lose... Completely shocks both Fierce and uh, Whis tempor uh, briefly. Like this mortal has this much power, and he actually comes in and lands a solid shot on Beers. And boom! Just uh, dude, like, and even Whis is like, oh dear. Um, he's actually got. Mm. <laughs> uh, and now, and uh, now Goku and Beers are actually toe to toe. Is in the right word. Beers is actually putting effort in now. He's actually taking never to block Goku's punches. And he's even calm and say, I must admit, you're much stronger than I imagined. That, I, I actually I may have felt that somewhat. And then he gives Goku a solid shot, a whip with his tail, kicks him, about to land in the back of the head, but Goku actually reacts in time with an instantaneous move, which Beerus recognizes, like, that's Shin's move. The Shin, and then Goku blasts him, boom! Ugh! And he's got a little sin job, like, uh, I see. So you've actually had you've actually met the Supreme Kai. He yeah, they taught you that. Good, uh, excellent use of that in combat. Also, I must say, I'm a, I haven't quite fought anyone. I haven't fought anyone quite like you before. You're quite interesting, Saiyan. But tell me, is this all your power has? And Goku's just like, uh, don't you mock me, and then just finishes Goku after that. So afterwards, basically everything goes about the same, except for that Boo's not there, so the pudding incident doesn't happen. Uh, Beerus is a bit more chilled out. He gets his pudding. Loves it. Mmm, <laughs> pudding! Um, Goku becomes Super Saiyan God. His God is probably a little stronger than the, than the original version. Still loses. Goes about the same. Resurrection F. I would imagine goes about the same. Uh, so yeah. Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. Besides Goku's initial meeting with Beerus, go about the same. I don't imagine... I don't believe he'd put ads... I never believe any time I actually give him the Super Saiyan 4 form in Super... He adds the God form on it immediately because just adding God form onto Super Saiyan is is difficult. So it, even though it's a more natural transformation, the grade of power that's being left uh, elevated there is still God knows immense. <clears throat> so really, nothing's going to change until I'm trying to think when I would add the whole God key thing onto Super Saiyan 4, because that's when it's really going to change up a bit. Um, I usually, usually when I do it, I put it around the Goku Black Saga. So we cut to, just so fast forward, uh, we cut to basically the second time Goku, basically the final fight between Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, and Zamasu, and then Fuse Zamasu. Goku... Uh, actually goes to Super Saiyan 4 and then adds, starts to add power up even further. Uh, well, basically what happens is you know, Fuse Masu is taking these guys down one by one. But Goku uh, I mean, powers down from Super Saiyan Blue to Super Saiyan 4, which immediately uh, Zamasu would be like, it's a, this, what is this weaker form you have? I don't even know. You look actually even more like a monkey mortal. Uh, that's, what that's what your race is known for, isn't it? Monkeys. It's like, uh, 
It's like, yeah, we're known for monkeys, but we're also known for something else. Going, uh, go, uh, uh, taking things to the limit and beyond, to infinity and beyond, or, you know, go, uh, surpassing our limitations. And then Goku just starts powering up in Super Saiyan 4, just, uh, and then Fusamasu even looks like, mm -hmm, he's actually, what is he doing? And then he, Goku actually finally powers like, uh, boom, energy blast. And even Fusamasu just, uh, what is he doing? And then he's, uh, he can actually feel the energy coming off him. And before he knows it, he just gets a boom. Just, oh, one boom. Just, and then a leg just comes, ah, just straight into the ground. That halo thing cracks behind him. He's like, what? what? And then he just sees Goku there standing in what I call Super Saiyan God Primal. Because Super Saiyan 4 isn't called Super Saiyan 4. It's uh, in, in these versions because there was no Super Saiyan 3 that was achieved. And it was something they achieved prior to even reaching those forms. So I always call it Super Saiyan Primal because it makes sense. It's a very primal, bestial-looking form. So Super Saiyan God Primal is there. And I always liken it not to being blue or gold, but being red. Like that deep, almost like a crimson red with that vibrant glow you see off the God Key. Basically, th think it's a, I think a deeper red. Basically what Gogeta looked like, except it's slightly deeper in the red color. Uh, and I think that just is the natural state because his hair color would be black still. So it makes no sense to change it to a different color other than red. Um, excuse me. So he's there and he comes in and now the fight goes toe to toe again. So Goku's now seriously pressing the edge on Zamasu. Just boom, 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 hitting them, blasts them. He's got that gooey part on him. Goku's still starting to huff a bit. Is that all you've got? My insolent mortal! Kaioken! And then Kamehameha's and... Blast him again. Again, he's more effed up. Goku finally fades out of transformation. They give the, the they heal them up with the sense of beans. You get Vegito. He beats up Zamasu to the point like even where Trunk where Trunks actually had beaten him. He's beaten, but then he comes back. They use the Omni King. Everything. Um. So that goes about the same. The exhibition match goes about the same, except Gohan has never had his ultimate uh, hidden potential unlocked. So actually, it still goes about the same. Uh, except it's not Boo who's there. I'd imagine it's probably 16 or something like that. Um, maybe they're, they're able to talk either 16 or 17, I would imagine. One of them can guard the uh, <clears throat> can guard the island while the other's away. Uh, then you have the Tournament of Power. The only real difference in this is I don't believe you'd have Frieza. It'd be 16 along with 17. There's no Boo, so there you go. Cut to the Tournament of Power. Then you have Goku. Then again... Most things go about the same. Though 16, I think, is more systematic in how he's taking out fighters. <clears throat> 16, also being an android, can't naturally progress, but can upgrade his form, I imagine, like through like actual physical upgrades. So, I do imagine that uh, there'd be a more systematic elimination. So, Universe 9 would still go out first, along with Universe 10. After that, I'm trying to remember who, who the next Universe was who got knocked out, because it was there was 6 after that, and... Was it Universe No. 2 and 6 got knocked out at the same time? It was user, Universe 4, I think, was the next one that got knocked out. Because, uh, let's see, 7 and 11 were the last ones. Yeah, it was Universe 4 that got knocked out next. I think Universe 4 would actually get knocked out a little faster because the trickery aspect of that universe would not <coughs> work <coughs> on someone like 16 because the sensory, uh, sensors would pick up things. <coughs> like, um... Oh, God. Daemon, the bug, he'd actually probably pick him up on his sensor and just catch him and throw him out of the ring. Same with an invisible pony. He could probably pick up a heap signature. So, actually, Piccolo would last longer in the fight because of that. Still, the fight with uh, Goku and Jiren would go about the same. But Goku, I would say, fares better than he did last because he's got a Super Saiyan God primal that he can add a Kaioken on. Which I actually argue, at that point, would probably actually push Jiren to actually try harder, and he actually might get more solid hits in on Jiren, tire Jiren out a bit more. Then Ultra Instinct comes into play. That goes about the same, but he actually hits Jiren a bit harder, a bit uh, does a bit more damage, so he ultimately does tire out Jiren a little bit. Hit comes in, gets a couple solid shots. So by the time Hit does get eliminated, Goku is temporarily knocked out, and I do believe like go 17 or 16. 16 maybe gives like some energy to him. Well, you have this, and then and just. Throws it in. It's like, if this was... It's like, do not do not say anything, Goku. Just do it. And maybe he actually, like, capped a 
had a sense of being on call in his uh, in him the whole time. He's like, uh, you know, he, and they you know get him up. So I'll go with the sense of being there because that actually makes sense. Uh, Piccolo lasts longer, like I said, uh, and Goku honestly just knocks out the three uh, androids from Universe Three. So you don't even get the Annie Raza fight. So eighteen sticks around a lot longer. Uh, you get the Kefla versus Goku fight, uh, and or, or actually you get the I should say you get the Kale and Khalifa fight versus Goku, who's now pretty much recovered and goes Super Saiyan Blue. It could take both these guys on without a little issue. Kale gives him more problems than Khalifa does, and then immediately goes Super Saiyan God Primal when he goes. She turns into Khalifa. They go toe to toe again, but honestly, I think Super Saiyan God Primal outmatches Kefla ultimately. It'd be a pretty hard fight. He goes Kaioken again. Basically, she knocks her straight in the gut and then just blasts her. Kind of what he did prior. So, he doesn't go Ultra Instinct again. Uh, so, ultimately, it comes down to Universe six, uh, or Universe 11 and 7. But at this point, it's now just Jiren, and Dispo, and Topo. Versus pretty much everyone who isn't bald. Uh, oh, excuse me. Anyone who isn't human and bald. Uh, everyone else is there. So you would probably get Topo in 18 and 6. Well, actually, you know what? I think 16 might make a sacrifice. I, I take that back. 16 might make a sacrifice and uh, be the next one out. But you would definitely get 16, uh, 18 and 17 probably versus Topo. You would get Gohan and Piccolo fighting Dispo. And you'd get uh, Vegeta and Goku fighting Jiren. Who, was overall fine, has taken a couple hits in this fight. So he's not 100%. He's like 98%. But he's still kind of taking a hit or two he's actually got like a, a a weak spot now where like if you keep hitting it he's gonna hurt uh, and they do capitalize on that to some degree <clears throat> so uh they, they are able to <clears throat> excuse me wear jiren down a bit more in their fight i think the combination of 18 and to uh and 17 does take out topo topo doesn't go to out of destruction because he's there is no one fighting dirty they are fighting still with a bit of honor uh, so that, and that's more or less why he decided to, uh, forego his justice because, you know, Frieza fought dirty and he was evil. Uh, so, uh, they, I think they succeed in eliminating Topo, but I think at the cost because 17 was initially going to sacrifice himself to take out Topo and Gohan couldn't go fully through it. I think 18 does go through that, uh, with that, but I think it's 18 who sacrifices himself and 17 uh, basically pushes them out. So seven, 18 gets eliminated by taking, to take Topo out. Um, the ring is still basically intact. Uh, 17 is still around. I think Piccolo is also the one who takes, uh, helps take out, um, uh, Dispo. He's the one who sacrifices himself, not Gohan. So Gohan and 18 go and aid in the fight with Jiren. So now you got Father, Son, Vegeta at 18, uh, or 17, both uh, going toe to toe. Jiren's still pretty dominating in this fight because now he's actually showing off his true power and even Super Saiyan God Primal 20, Tiger King size 20, isn't able to hold up to this. <coughs> he's able to at least hold out, but he's not able to hold up. Uh, so ultimately, 17 again does the whole sacrifice thing. Uh, Gohan and uh, Vegeta both get uh, both try to tag team him as Goku's down. Or actually, Go uh, Gohan would actually probably share his energy with Goku. So, you know, they both get up. And sure, I'm with both of them, actually, because he feels they're probably the better... Uh, two better ones to finish this out. Whereas Gohan is ultimately not the, uh, not at this point, not the strongest, if you can help it. Uh, uh, so, uh, so ultimately, uh, Gohan, uh, gives him strategy, but goes in, does the best he can to fight against Jiren, does some good tactics, I would imagine. He even imagine maybe to surprise Jiren, and maybe get like a point blank blast in his face, though it doesn't phase Jiren, who just grabs Gohan and just, Decks him in against the rock and throws him out of the ring. But then Vegeta and Goku both come in and just boom! Just boom! Bum rush him. Like, and Jiren doesn't see it. Comes just, And then they, again, wail into Jiren again. This time actually really going all out. Just full on blasting him. Jiren act is mildly hurt at this point. And again, he knocks, you know, he takes Go Goku just. Boom! Bitch smacks him down the ground. Just, oh, go on. It's kind of, oh, Goku's, ah. Oh. Vegeta again, running out of energy. Does that final sacrificial blast. Jiren almost gets knocked out of the ring. His clothes are singed. He's even a little hurt. But, you know, you know Vegeta just, uh, and then Vegeta tries. And then you get the whole Vegeta's final stand moment. And then, you know, gives his mind energy to Goku. 
Then it goes about pretty much what you're expecting. It, it goes about the same with uh, Goku and Jiren, but Jiren's a bit more worn out at this point. So I do think Ultra Instinct Goku does either beat Jiren or almost beat Jiren. And then Goku ends up, or, and I mean by knocking him out, almost knocks him out. Jiren, however, is like hanging on the threat. He barely is able to get up, but he gets up, about to knock Goku out uh, off the stage. But then all of a sudden, 17 comes and just, boom, it's like, hits Jiren from the back. And basically right in the head, just, it's like, goodbye. So, boom, it's like, ah, and then gets one more blast and knocks him out of the ring. And 17 and Goku, who made to the uh, made to the victory, victor's circle. And they wish the universe back, and it all works out fine. <clears throat> so that's – that. I wanted to round this up because, really, it was going to go quick. It, it, I, it, because I already had three still st withstanding for my who would win or my what ifs, and I didn't really want to confound it with another one floating around. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh, good thing, too. My voice was starting to go. Uh, so anyway, that's the end of this what if. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. Do a review of it at some point. I just ruled win. Star Wars, Superior Magic, What If, anything I do on the channel. Put that in the comments below. Let us know. Do a review of it at some point. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll do my Aquaman review tomorrow along with Box Office and the remaining What If for the week. So later, folks, and have a good